What you're looking at on the screen is a Turnitin AI report showing 100% detection of AI-generated content. Now, let's take a look at another Turnitin report. As you can see, it shows 0% AI detection. If you look closely, it says that only 0% of the content was AI-generated, and even less, 0%, was paraphrased AI-generated text. Now, here's the interesting part. Both of these reports are based on content I took from ChatGPT on the same topic. But here's what I did differently. I used some clever tricks and then paraphrased the ChatGPT-generated content with a free tool. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get that 0% AI detection result too. First, remember this golden rule. Never ask ChatGPT to write an entire essay or article at once. It's a mistake many people make. Instead, Break it down step by step, let me show you how. Say my topic is, the impact of tourism on the environment. My first step. Ask for a short outline. You can also be specific and tell ChatGPT, give me just five headings. And there you go. Now, I have five clear headings, now comes the smart part. Copy each heading one by one and ask ChatGPT to write a paragraph on it, for example. Here's what I do, I ask for one complete paragraph and give clear instructions, use simple words, don't repeat words, keep sentences short, support with examples, the more specific your instructions, the more human-like the content will feel. Now, I paste my first heading and, boom! I get a well-structured paragraph. But wait! Don't forget to click on, search the web. This feature is a game changer because it helps ChatGPT add accurate references from real sources. If one paragraph isn't enough, just ask for more. Say, write one more continuous paragraph on the same heading. ChatGPT will generate fresh content while keeping it relevant. Now for first paragraph I also get website links for citations. If you want academic references instead, simply say, Use sources from Google Scholar or journals instead of websites. Now, let's move to the second heading. I follow the same steps, but with a twist. This time, I ask ChatGPT to include one theoretical concept. Why? Because varying instructions makes your content more authentic and helps avoid AI detection. I paste my second heading, and boom. Another well-crafted paragraph, plus a references links. Now for the third heading, I change my approach again. This time, I ask ChatGPT to include two statistics. Remember, these are powerful tricks. Mixing up your instructions makes a huge difference. But wait, I noticed something. ChatGPT pulled a reference from Wikipedia. We can't cite Wikipedia directly. No worries, I'll show you a simple fix. Stay with me, now, I move to my fourth heading. I mix things up again, this time. I ask for just one key statistic before pasting the heading. And just like before, I get a paragraph plus three reference links. Finally, for the last heading, I go back to the basics. I just ask ChatGPT to keep it simple and avoid repetition. And that's it. I now have five well-structured paragraphs, five different sets of instructions, and properly cited sources. Remember this key takeaway. Never ask ChatGPT to generate everything at once. Break it down. Use different instructions, and always verify sources for accuracy. If ChatGPT gives you a statistic from Wikipedia, don't use it as a direct source. Instead, copy the statistic, paste it into Google search, find the original source that Wikipedia used. For example, ChatGPT says, tourism contributes 2.5% to global carbon emissions. But when I check Google, I find the original source says 2.4% simple fix, I manually correct it. Use this website link for proper citations. You can avoid Wikipedia in this way. Use my bib for citations and references, I've explained this in detail in my previous video, so be sure to check that out, now, we will be using the free version of Quillbot. If you have the premium version, you can use that as well. But for now, I'll log out from my premium account and switch to the free version, on the free version, we can only use the standard and fluency modes. I'll be using fluency mode. Also, there's a word limit. We can only paste 125 words at a time. 
So, I will start by copying the first paragraph from ChatGPT and pasting it into Quillbot, before paraphrasing, remove the website names that ChatGPT provided for references. These aren't needed at this stage. Now, I see that my paragraph is 132 words, which is over the limit. I'll remove the last line since it doesn't seem important, now, the content is paraphrased. But here's an important step, don't just accept it as it is. You need to manually refine the text to make it sound more natural, for example, some words sound too robotic or unnatural, so I'll change synonyms where needed, if a word is something we wouldn't normally use in conversation, replace it, here, the word, frequently, appears twice, I'll change one to, often, to avoid repetition, the phrase, resulting in, sounds a bit formal, so I'll change it to, leading to. The word, furthermore, feels unnecessary. Instead, I'll use a simpler transition or remove it completely, assessment, sounds a bit technical, so I'll replace it with, examination, the word, scenario, doesn't quite fit the paragraph's meaning. I'll change it to, situation, once I'm happy with the changes, I'll copy the revised text. Now, I'll go back to my outline that I got from ChatGPT. These are the same headings from earlier ChatGPT outline. Under the first heading, I'll paste the paraphrased paragraph from Quillbot. Next, I'll remove the first paragraph from Quillbot and move on to the second paragraph from ChatGPT. Again, I'll paste it into Quillbot and remove website names before paraphrasing. Now, I'll carefully refine this second paragraph as well. Tremendous may seem like it fits, but I wouldn't normally use that word in casual writing, so I'll remove it. Particularly can be simplified to especially, such as can be replaced with like, significant can be changed to substantial. Another useful trick. Shorten long sentences. If a sentence has too many commas, Turnitin is more likely to detect. It has AI generated, for example, a long sentence can be split into two shorter ones for better readability. If a word doesn't fit naturally, change it. Here, hurt feels off, so I'll replace it with harm. Now, I'll copy the updated paragraph and paste it under the second heading. Looking at the content again, I notice that the phrase, and other pollutants in popular areas, doesn't add much value, so I'll remove it. Finally, I'll check for any extra words that aren't necessary and take them out. If I'm worried about grammar while making these changes, I can run the final text through Grammarly's free version for a quick check. Now, I'll repeat the same process for the remaining paragraphs, refining each one carefully to make the content more natural, readable, and human-like. Now, I'll copy the third paragraph from ChatGPT and paste it into Quillbot again. The process is the same as before. I will first remove the website reference names and any unnecessary lines. Since my focus is on the impact of tourism on the environment and not on providing recommendations, I will also remove the last line. After paraphrasing, I will carefully go through the text and make changes where needed, the word expansion is repeating, so I will change it to development, instead of loss, I think decline fits better, proposed can be replaced with planned, threatened sounds too strong, so I will change it to effects, proliferation is a complex word, so I will simplify it to increase, furthermore is unnecessary so I will remove it. Fragile can be changed to unstable because it fits the context better. Such as can be replaced with like, resulted in can be changed to led to, finally, I will break the last sentence into two shorter sentences to make it easier to read. Now, I will copy this revised paragraph and paste it into my Word file. Moving on to the fourth paragraph, I will copy it from ChatGPT and paste it into Quillbot. After paraphrasing, I will follow the same process again, I will remove the phrase, air travel, because it is mentioned again in the next sentence, so it is unnecessary. Some words sound too formal or unnatural, so I will change them, degradation will be changed to damage, making will be changed to, contributing to, resulted in will be changed to results in, I will also remove the phrase, this also, because the sentence is already clear without it, if a sentence does not sound natural. I will rephrase it manually or switch to the standard mode in Quillbot. I will also make a few more small edits, removing extra words and splitting long sentences into shorter ones. Now, I will copy the last paragraph from ChatGPT and repeat the same process. I will change words, simplify phrases, and shorten sentences where needed, by now, from the previous four paragraphs, 
you should have a clear idea of how to make content sound more natural. So, I will copy this final paragraph and paste it into my Word file. Now, as you can see, my short essay is complete. If you need a longer essay, like 1000 words or more, you can simply repeat this process multiple times. The best part is that this method ensures your content sounds completely natural and passes AI detection with no issues. Now, I will check this file on Turnitin. Now, I am on Turnitin. I will upload the Word file here to check for AI detection. Turnitin will generate both plagiarism and AI detection reports. The plagiarism score is 3%, and the AI detection result is 0%. Now, let's open the AI report file. As you can see, it clearly states 0% detected as AI. It also shows 0% AI-generated text and 0% AI-generated text that was paraphrased. If you go through the entire text, there is nothing flagged as AI-generated. This method may seem a bit complex at first, but it is completely worth it. You can ensure your content is 100% human-like while using only free tools. This proves that with the right approach, you can achieve zero AI detection easily. Please subscribe and like for more content on research, writing, and AI detection tips.